Hey YouTubers, uh, welcome back to Mac User and here we are, we're going to do another screencast uh, and this time we're going to deal with uh, the simple processes of creating a user account and the process of deleting a user account. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go into System Preferences, then Users and Groups, and then we've got this option obviously here. Uh, we need to click on the padlock to get all authentication. It has to be an admin account now that gives me the ability to create an account. I click on the plus sign, and then it gives me the drop-down menu option of either a standard account, an administration account, uh, a managed account with uh, parental controls. So that's obviously dictated by websites and stuff like that that's uh, on the internet through uh, system preferences. Um, and then obviously just got a shared option. And all I'm doing here is creating a test account with a standard password. Uh, and then I'm just going to put in some sort of password hint so I can re remember what the password was. And then we just click OK and the test account appears. All I'm going to do now is log out as the Mac user admin account and log back in as test1. And then we'll go through some other processes from there. Okay, I've uh, logged back in now as test1, so I'm in the standard account, and as you can see from the screencast, I can, you can see that I'm logged in as that account. If I go to System Preferences, Users and Groups, you can see that test1, standard account, and I've logged in as that account, and all the other accounts are obviously graded out. Uh, and from there, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, from the Home option, you can see my user profile. Uh, I've gone into mu uh, Music, Desktop, public folder etc. So the user group and the account is obviously created and you can see from there uh, that there is that user profile test one. And I'm just going to now move a few things around on the dock just to simulate that I was obviously this was my account and I was wanted to tie it up to the way that I my work preferences. Okay, I've finished uh, sorting out my dock. I'm happy with my workplace. I'm now going to log out and then log back in as Mac user. Okay, I've uh, logged back into Mac user and let's just quickly go into system preferences, users and groups, and you can obviously see the uh, accounts there. The test account is still there, the standard account. I click on the padlock, type in the admin password to Mac user, and I've got the test account there. I quickly navigate now to the Macintosh HD, go to users, you can see my home folder there, but also you can see test1 home folder and obviously it's got the uh, um, no entry sign indicating that obviously that is a different user, which is the test1 user. Now we're going to click the minus button and you've got these three options there, whether to save the drive or the home folder, um, don't save the home folder and then delete everything securely. If you're going to delete it, my advice is delete it and erase it securely. That's obviously if you uh, know that you don't need the backup of it. Quickly go back into Macintosh HD, double click uh, my users and groups, and as you can see, that uh, folder or that profile for test one has now been deleted. That is the end of another screencast. It's a very simple process there of adding a user to your Mac and also deleting a user if required from your Mac as well. So you just use the feature using system preferences and users and groups. But remember, it's the admin account that needs to do all the process for it. Um, hope you enjoyed that screencast. Uh, check back for further screencasts uh, as they come available in the next couple of days. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.